Hello everyone, this is Humphrey Chung again with Router Gods, and in this video we're going to take our practice topology, we're going to add one more router, so we're going to go up to three routers, and we're going to use this one for our CDP, RIP, and probably our OSPF practice sessions in the future. So we've got our three routers here, and actually, usually I would set this up and, and put the IP addresses and all that, but since this particular video we're going to be talking about CDP, and uh, so CDP is a layer two technology and it allows Cisco routers to give information to each other. And since it's layer two, it doesn't need any IP addresses because IP addresses are on layer three. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave these three routers uh, pretty much the way they are. All I'm gonna do is change the host names and I'm gonna do a no shut on the fast ethernet interfaces. And then I'll show you what CDP can do. So once again, we're even though there's IP addresses on the picture here, we're not actually going to set them up. All right, so we're going to go into router zero. Going to move my text window up here. Cool. Got to go into enable mode, conf t host name router zero. Going to go into my fast Ethernet zero slash zero interface and do a no shut. Go into our fast zero slash one interface and also do a no shut there. Pretty easy stuff. I'm going to go into router one, pretty much do the same thing. Enable comp t host name router one int fast zero zero no shut int fast zero one no shut. Pretty simple stuff. And finally, we're going to go into router two. Enable conf t host name router two. Int fast zero zero, no shut. Int fast zero one, whoops, and no shut there. Great. I'm going to go back to router. Let's see. Go back to router zero. And just to show you, there's no funny business here. We're going to do a show IP int br just to uh, show our interfaces. Of course, we have to exit out of config. We could have done a do show IP int br, but that's all right. So show IP int br. Got our two fast Ethernet interfaces. They're up, but there's no IP address. All right, let's see what we can do with CDP. So show CDP. You can see here that uh, we got a carriage return, so we could hit enter right here. We also have some other options. Well. Let's just do show CDP, and just shows us that, hey, we're sending out CDP packets every 60 seconds. Whole time is your typical three times the the time of the, um, the packet rate, so that's 180 seconds. And we're using CDP version 2. Okay, nothing that exciting. Show CDP question mark. Let's see, show CDP neighbors. Boom. Shows router one, router two, gives us their fast ethernet interfaces that we are connected out of. Okay, so if we're looking at our diagram here, it's telling me that I can reach router one out of my zero slash one interface. So let's see if that's true. I'm going to minimize this picture right here. Okay, let's see. So router zero is the router I'm on. I can go out router fast ethernet or router interface zero slash one, and that gets me to router one. Okay, that sounds pretty good. And if I go out zero, zero, I get to router two, and I see that is correct. Gives me a hold time, gives me capabilities, okay. RSI says it's a router, it's a switch, and it knows IGMP, hey, that's, that's pretty nice. Even tells me the what kind of router it is, so it's 2691, that's great. And this is pretty cool, port ID, fast zero, zero. What this is telling me is the interface port on the other side. So if I minimize this window, so on the other side of router two and router one, it's both fast zero, zero, fast zero, zero for router two. So not only does it tell me my interface, it also tells me the remote interface. Okay, so let's see what else it can show us. So CDP, you can see question mark. Oh, let's see, uh, how about neighbors, then do another question mark. Hey, look at that. Details, show CDP neighbors detail. 
And this will give us some uh, some more detailed information. Now, if we would have had, if we would have configured an IP address on either router one or router two, we would have gotten uh, an IP address here. And okay, good. So I don't see one. So we're gonna leave router zero for one, for for now. Going to go into router one and let's let's put an IP address. Let's see if we can get this to show up on router zero. So let's do int fast zero zero, and let's set an IP address. Oh, what IP address do I have? Whoa. IP address eleven dot zero dot zero dot. It's probably going to be dot three. Okay, dot three. Of course, we give our subnet mask. Doesn't really matter what our subnet mask is in this particular video. I'm just going to make it a slash twenty four right now. It's already in no shut, so that's pretty easy. Close it out of there. Let's go back to router zero. Hit the up arrow, show CDP neighbors detail. And look at that. We've got router one, which is the router to the right. It gives us an IP address, 11.0.0.3. Everything's good. So if you ever get a question on the test or uh, you know, if you ever have to do this in real life, if you want to know the IP address of the other side, and uh, let's say you, you're unable to telnet into router one for whatever reason, either it's, you know, who knows, someone changed the password or whatever, you can find what ports you're connected to, and you could also find the IP address by using show CDP neighbors detail. So it's pretty, uh, quick and dirty look into CDP. Uh, our final command is if you ever want to kill CDP, there is a command. Well, CDP is on by default on most Cisco routers and it's Cisco proprietary. And if you ever get a question on your test saying something like uh, you're hooking up to a non Cisco router, well, that's probably not going to understand CDP. So you might get another question saying, okay, well, you're concerned about security and you want to shut CDP off. Well, you could do a no CDP, and let's see what uh, what we got here. No CDP run. We'll shut this thing off globally. And I could do that. So now if I do exit and show CDP, and it'll say CDP is not enabled. Eh, no kidding, because I just turned it off. So go back into conf T, CDP run to turn it back on. Do exit, show CDP. Hey, CDP is back again. All right, let's go back to ConfT. Let's say you wanted to kill it on a particular interface. And so we're going to, let's try to kill it from fast ethernet 00, so int fast 00. No CDP, let's see what we got. No CDP enable. Hit exit a couple times, show CDP neighbors. It's going to take a little while for that to, to time out. And it's probably not even worth waiting for. So it's going to have to wait for the hold time to expire. And also on the other side for the hold times to expire. And then this entry will be dropped out. It's going to, so it's going to stick for a while. So remember, no CDP run will kill it globally no CDP enable in the interface mode will kill it on the particular interface. So that was a quick and easy video on CDP. Thank you very much.